from the Dunkin' Donuts Center in Providence, Rhode Island, the Providence Friars defeated Brown by a final of 80 to 49. So Providence improving to seven and two on the season. Dave Jagler and Vin Parisi inside the Dunkin' Donuts Center, and we talked a lot about Vincent Council tonight. Vincent nearly had a triple double, 21 points, 11 assists, just one rebound shy, ended up with nine. Heck of a ball game for Vincent Council. And from the moment Ed Cooley got the Providence job, he talked about how important Council was going to be to the equation. And we're seeing it more and more as this season progresses, how good he's gotten off the bounce in the offseason, how better his mid-range game has gotten, and how efficient he's gotten passing the ball and shooting the basketball. And the 11 assists, taking a look at a few of them, then the step back three, and Vincent Council did all that in 37 minutes, his first double-double of this season. Another area where the Friars have dominated tonight was in transition and points in the paint. Balance scoring, a good night, especially in the second half for Bryce Cotton. LaDante Hinton had a career high. Gerard Coleman, the Friars were getting the tempo up where they wanted it. I mean, Cooley wants the tempo high at all times. They want to push the basketball. They want to run, especially when they're home at the dunk. And we saw that it was one of the biggest reasons why they got out to the early lead. Multiple guys are running the floor. Hinton was terrific, rim running down the middle. The guards are unselfish. And we saw the lead extend in the first half, but this is going to be important, their transition game as the season progresses. This was certainly a positive for the Friars tonight. Ed Cooley saying he still wants to focus on rebounding as they go into Big East play. As you look at the final stats, it was a total domination. The Friars never trailed, and Brown came in with the reputation of being a good three-point shooting team. We know they can be, but the Friars kept that at bay, and the points in the paint, a plus 30 edge. That's a that's a big difference. Oh, terrific, and we saw multiple guys give that effort in the paint. Kofani was very good, Henton was very good, and Coach Cooley wants to focus on the defensive backboards because that's what ignites fast breaks, and that's how he wants to play at home. So that's going to wrap it up. The Friars are 7-2. and two. They will take on Boston College in their next game. While Brown falls to 4-6, and six, they'll host the University of New Hampshire. Once again, our final score, the Friars 80, the Bears 49. If you didn't see our game on ESPNU, be sure to log on to ESPN.com and type in your zip code to the top of the page or call your local cable operator or satellite provider. Good night from Providence.